same, but that ain't gonna change my way. Okay, so the whole thing was getting extremely tedious. So I've taken out the mud flat and now I'm just at the point of trying to get the last nut from this mud guard as opposed to flap. Uh, it looks like the corner has rotted away, leaving me with just one last bolt to attempt. And so far, everything has been a bit crap. So I'm not gonna mess around. I'm going straight in with the grinder. <laughs> Cut the bloody thing off. So, the wheel is off, the mud flap is off, and now this mud guard is mostly off, except this last bolt. Yeah, that's got it. And now that's off as well. Here it is. Bit of a state. It seems as though this corner is, uh, well, is it fiberglass? I think so certainly isn't steel or aluminium. Yeah, I can see the fibres in it now. So another great corner here of the wing is actually fibreglass again. Still, it's lasted this long, I suppose. That's having a bit of difficulty. Maybe it'll clean up nicely. It seems okay, it's not rotted through, but it'll need a bit of work before it goes on the new guards that I have. Anyway, that goes there. I go in here. But this uh, is essentially is stopping me to getting at the remaining three bolts on the wing, which I can now see relatively clearly. Oh, joy. And now, hopefully, there's just the one on the top. Just this one to do eight. Oh, you're an eight. You are an eight. Well, which I don't mean you're an eight at ten. That would be mean. I can feel the wing is already coming away. She's loose. Is she loose enough to take away? Yeah. So the only thing holding it together now is the electrics. By the way, maybe we should discuss something that personally I found very exciting. And it's uh, that. I can fold the windscreen down now. <laughs> so exciting. Um, no, it's not exciting, it's very boring, yes. That's what I meant to say. Eskimo, Arapaho. Move their bodies to and fro. Hit me with your rhythm stick. Two fat persons, click, click, click. It's only just occurred to me, but Ian Jewelry reminds me of my mate Tony. I don't know why. Neither of them actually hit anything with rhythm sticks. From Bombay to Santa Fe. It's probably just the accent. If Ian Jury is from Catford, that would explain it. Well, I don't know how you get it out of the bleeding grommet. Where's my Swedish technology? Maybe that would do it. Yeah. So the, the bowl is out. Headlight doings is free. That went badly. 
uh, tape. Headlight. Should be apparent, but uh, when you are like me and you have a brain that uh, Pooh Bear would find embarrassing, then it's best to write on everything. It's one of those things, isn't it, where you think, oh, I'll remember that. And you know, you don't. You just don't. Now, there's another grommety doodah here. And I'm wondering if... Yeah, I think that will go through. Yeah, with the conduit as well. So it's a, there's a conduit attached to it. And there it is, another wing off. Ah, yay. Good, that's a good one, it's a good wing. Gonna need some work, but it's a good wing. Take away some of the leaves and the spider's webs are go-go. That's the steering box. Now, when I first got Rosie, uh, she, was, she was very badly mannered, very bad manners, and uh, a, a chap who at the time was my friend and subsequently turned out to be a sponger of the First Order, uh, knew quite a lot about Land Rovers. So he took her in and he, according to him, he simply turned that bolt there, that one right there, just turned that, and the steering tightened right up. Previous to that, if there was a gap 10, 15 feet wide, you couldn't be altogether certain that you were gonna go through it. Should we say a complicated girl and a little bit unruly. This is another one of those fabulous uh, repair jobs. So this is the lump of uh, fiberglass, <laughs> which went there, right there. In fact, it just still locates in there because of the plug that it fills on the other side. So as I was tapping away, that bit has just come straight away, showing us the hole, which leads me to believe that this hole is actually quite old. Uh, so the rest of it's done very well in retrospect. Not good, but good for a Land Rover. <laughs> That's a terrible thing to say. Why do we like these things? They're fucking awful. Pay no attention, Rosie, we love you. We'll even take some of your cobwebs off. Mm. It may be the case that this is the greatest tool in the universe. This is the greatest tool in the universe, possibly. Not, don't hold me to that in court, will you? Uh, the only problem with these is getting the, the belts. The, you can get belts easily, but the good belts, they're mostly they, um, <laughs> they snap very easily. I buy them in packets of 100,000. It's strange, you know, I do a lot of uh, carving and things in, in foam and wood and metal, stuff like that. And the tool that I end up using more often is this. It is fantastic. Uh, I'll show you some of my uh, Punch and Judy heads later. Let's see if we can dink them out. One. Two. Three, and four, thank you. Yes. And all we've got to deal now with is the, is the glue that holds it in place. More bleeding mastic. Okay, but that bracket comes off, so that's good. Song by Dr. John, going round and round in my head. Called Mama Roo. So, while we're watching this spectacle, let's have a bit of Mama Roo. Over to you, Dr. John. Mama Roo. She was the queen of the little red, white, and blue. Mama Roo. She was the queen of the little red, white, and blue. Said, Ooh, why can't you smile? 
survive, boy. You pay yourself to die, boy. Medicine man got heat, strong power. You know better than the best with me. Like a rival, la 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 proof. Like a rival, the la 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 proof. If you see a spy boy sitting in the bush, mess him on his head, give him a push. Get out the dishes, get out the pain. Move he fast for the medicine man. Tra la 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 I hadn't realised I can now put my leg right through. I can walk into the vehicle now. This is a disconcerting sensation. <laughs> I hadn't foreseen that at all. I'm just going to have to take the lever off. <sighs> Again, it's irritating. Most importantly, I don't want to knock my tea over. Yes. It's off. It lives. It's dead. One or the other. Choose your favourite thing. Lost of words. Look at that. Jeez. Well, that's significantly different now. Now the seat box is off. That really is down to the bare chassis. <sighs> okay, let's take that housing off. God bless the first calf div. <coughs> Here's to you, Larry. You know who you are. It is kind of like an adventure, this. The more you take off, the more you, well, learn. <laughs> and also, uh, you, you find out things that you didn't realize. And I'm struggling to find an example now. Can't think of a single one. So that's a bad story. Uh, I'm sure there are lectures that people do on what would be a good story. That possibly would be one that people who do still, who do lecture in storytelling, could possibly use that as an example of a bad story. But if you do, five or a go, okay? Good or bad, it's my story. I've read things about George Lucas as well, you know. All right, does that come off? It does come off, it does, it comes off. Good oh. <clears throat> Wasn't even masticked in place. Oh, that one's got the washer with it. That's a good thing. Otherwise I'm gonna lose these washers, aren't I? Try and knock them off. Well, I've got the chance. Another one got. There's one more washer there. Oh. Instantly pinged it on the floor. <laughs> uh, what a monkey. Monkey with a screwdriver though. So I have developed. I've moved up from monkey with a spanner to monkey with a screwdriver. Is that promotion? Sounds like demotion to me. Only another 30 to go. <laughs> no, 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 no. It just feels like 30. Get the washer. Here we 
it is. I always, uh, I'm reminded whenever I perform an operation of that na nature. Well, a friend of mine, Lieutenant Commander John Wellham, DSC, who was one of the pilots at the Battle of Taranto, or the Raid on Taranto, I suppose would be a more accurate description, he was flying a fairy swordfish and he lost a substantial part of his wing. And uh, one, on the same side, the ailerons, one jammed up, one jammed down. And he says, he said, I decided to apply brute force and ignorance. So, by like jabbing at this washer with uh, the head of a posi drive screwdriver, I am in some small way paying tribute to the late Lieutenant Commander John Wellham, DSC, and his contribution to Fleet Air Arm. I'm not sure he'd like that very much, though. And again, you get what you're given. And that was held in place by paint. No bad thing. Is that mastic as well? Yes, of course. Mastic over everything. Why not? When in doubt, mastic. I suppose when you're very confident, mastic. Uh, it's about 7 o'clock at night, 7.30. Um, anything else from here on will be quite a major job. Uh, looking at it, I think, because I was considering whether or not taking out the pedals, but I don't think I need to. And cut away the pieces of bulkhead from here. That crossbar has got to come out. Shall I try that now? Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Fucking idiot. Right, here we go. Just get rid of it. She was the queen of the little red wagon. I'm just a monkey with a spanner, but if I can do this, you can do that. Wham, bam, scram, sing. Come on, boys, and follow me.